Velvet is shed and testosterone levels increase due to decreasing day length. The days are just shorter, there's not as much light, and that triggers a change in hormones in bucks. Once that velvet sheds, the next sign you likely see is bucks sparring. These are not intense fights, but they're starting to tinkle those antlers together, and it may be a mature buck with a mature buck, young bucks with a young buck, or a mature buck with an immature buck. They're just sparring and kind of sorting out the dominance. And we'll be in that period until the first couple of does become receptive. Once that happens, you may start noticing more knockdown, drag out fights. I mean, I'm trying to kill you type fights. One of the techniques that's appropriate for this stage of the rut when bucks are sparring is take that grunt call long. If you see a buck cruising out of range, it's not likely to pass within range, and it's a buck you want to harvest, you may want to hit that grunt call just a note or two, see if they pick their head up or pay any attention. If they do, they're likely to come in. If they don't, it's neutral. You're not going to blow them out of the side of the range. They're just going to ignore the grunt call. Using that grunt call during the early season is often a tool that's not used. But I take it along. I'm just going to hit it a note or two if I see a buck that's passing out of range. And if it works, that's some more venison in the freezer.